Hey guys, Rich here Flippin' for a living. I hope you're having a wonderful Saturday. I'm just in my backyard. I just unloaded my truck and I quickly want to talk about selling and flipping locally. It's really my niche. It's what I do a lot of. I typically sell $1,000 every weekend and when, when you're getting a 500% markup on average, you do the math. It's great profit. For example, I'm going to show you quickly the bigs, the big thing, the big things that I bought locally this weekend that I'm going to flip locally this weekend. $240 invested, and I'm going to easily get $1,000 back, and I would be shocked if I didn't sell all of this over the next 72 hours. So, I want to give you an idea um, of what to pay for these kind of things, what to post them for. This is all on Facebook Marketplace and other buy and sell sites on Facebook. I've stepped away from, from Craigslist or LetGo or any of those other um, sites. I'm exclusively doing Facebook Marketplace right now and I wanna teach you guys how to avoid the trolls, how to avoid the tire kickers, who's serious and who to ignore. And we're, we're gonna continue to talk about that over the summer and I'm actually gonna have one long video at some point with all my pointers. Um, on how I do things locally. But let's just take a real quick gander at what I got um, Friday afternoon and Saturday morning. Again, 240 in, we're gonna get a thousand back. So we'll start here with the basics right here. These two coolers, um, $1 and $2. I'm gonna sell those as a pair, uh, 25 bucks for the pair. I will get that no problem. I've done that a lot. This was a really awesome purchase here. These two chairs, matching they're in spectacular shape um i bought the pair for 40 bucks and i was kind of wondering oh maybe i overpaid maybe i will only get a hundred dollars for them but they're the rocker recliner gliders they spin you know they go right around and um, i ended up getting already 175 dollars for the pair e-transferred to me they're picking up in about an hour so 135 dollars profit right there a um, couple of life jackets, five bucks for the pair. I will sell those for 25. That cozy coop there was seven dollars. I will sell that for 25, no problem. This chop saw was 10 bucks. It's a decent, sorry, miter saw. It was 10 bucks, and uh, I've got that posted for 50. That's going to get picked up today. It's awesome wine cooler fridge in the back here. It's got um, both levels for the white or the red. People got that as a wedding present. They didn't need it anymore. They said they only plug it in when they have guests, so it's just useless sitting around. They sold that to me for 20 bucks. I got it posted for 90 already. I'm pretty confident I'm gonna get that today. Golf clubs, you guys know I'm big into golf clubs. You can see on the side there, this bag was 10 bucks. Um, I got them to throw in this driver for 10 bucks. So the um, bag and the driver, was ten dollars I'll sell the bag for 25 it's a nice bag and this driver tailor-made one of the brands you definitely want to look out for tailor-made it's an older tailor-made but it's in spectacular shape I've already sold several of these this the beginning of the golf season for uh, 50 and 60 dollars a piece so I'm gonna shoot for 60 for this one so we're looking at 85 dollars here out of a ten dollar investment these are just a couple random putters I bought for two bucks a piece what I will do over the summer is I will buy random putters and drivers and bags because not everybody sells a complete set and then I will put together a set, typically have 12 or $15 invested and sell a set for 75 or 100. So don't be afraid to buy just separate bags, putters, drivers. Turntable back here, Yamaha. This was the last thing I snagged today. They're asking uh, 25. I just said, what's the least you would take? Well, it was late in the day. They were happy to get $15 for it. it Comes with a stand. It was plugged in, sounds great. Um, posted that for 75 already. I shouldn't have any problem getting 75. I might knock off five bucks if I have to. This old school commuter bike back here. Yeah, the grips are a little bit um, chewed up, but if I want, I could always grab a pair of grips at the dollar store for two bucks and throw them on there, but I don't need to. These sell easily for me all the time for 80, 90 bucks. Just this vintage style people really like. Got that for 20. Um, big wheel strollers. Who doesn't need a big wheel stroller? This one is a little bit dirty and uh, I'm gonna do a video later on where I'm showing you guys how to polish up things like this and shoes that are super nasty. Um, but back to the story, they're asking 25, I got this for 20, that's already posted for $75, super purchase there. 
This kind of was a cool, um, this worked out really cool for me. One of the first sales I went to, the people had a PS2, six controllers, and 20 games roughly. We negotiated $50. I know that sounds like a lot for a PS2, but if you look at the brand or the style of games, um, it's all like first person shooter and good quality games, not a single sports game in the batch. That's the kind of stuff you want. Role playing, first person, um, fantasy type games. So I bought all that for 50, and then about five sales later, um, another group of people are selling a PlayStation 2 with just the cords, no games, no controllers. So I have $55 into this, and I can split this in half, sell two complete sets, three, three controllers in each one, memory card, complete system, $75 a piece, no problem with these type of games. Um, I will have to double check to make sure there's no super rare game in here because a lot of times these um, role playing games are valuable. Even PlayStation 2 still has some $40, $60, $80 games. So $100 investment there. This is one of my favorite purchases of the day. This entire sound system here, um, Sony control center and a DVD six disc DVD system and these tower speakers which are in really nice shape 20 bucks for this whole system here I'm easily gonna get a hundred dollars for this and you guys one thing to watch out for when you're buying speakers make sure you pop off that front cover check here make sure these are not blown out or rotted away if they dry out over the course of 20 30 years they will just crumble and they will be useless no one will buy them but these are perfect should easily make um, 75 bucks off of that $20. And from the same people, um, Onkyo is actually a really good brand. The older the better with a lot of vintage electronics. This is not a very old set or system, but you can see it's the full surround sound. There's five speakers, the control center, and the subwoofer. I have sold this subwoofer alone for $80. I got all that for 10 bucks. I don't know what they were thinking. They just, you know, this one was 20. For some reason, I guess these speakers were smaller, so they only wanted 10. Anyways, I was happy to pay it. This is easily gonna get me $125, because like I said, this alone I can get 80 bucks for. These are selling for 60 to 80 bucks. So as a unit, no problem there. People are always looking for microwaves. You gotta, you gotta watch out for those everyday items. People need things on a daily basis and you need to buy things that people need on a daily basis. That was a roundabout way of saying, buy things that people need on a daily basis, like microwaves. Something like this is gonna sell on Facebook Marketplace almost instantly for 35 bucks. I paid $5 for it. Um, so just keep your eye out for stuff that people use on an everyday basis. Not everybody's going to want a collectible plate or fork from the 1800s, but everybody needs a microwave. Everybody likes music. Everybody wants a nice chair to sit in, you know? So watch out for those everyday items. And another thing about the bigger items is um, they're typically still sitting around at the end of the day because a lot of people don't have a truck or an SUV or a van to haul this stuff away. Um, I would conservatively say only one out of 20 people that go to garage sales have the means to haul away something like these two giant chairs. So that's probably why I got such a good deal on them even mid afternoon because nobody else could just, you know, you couldn't throw them in a car. So it's a bonus if you have a truck or an SUV that you can get that stuff um, into and you can usually dicker on it too because it's still sitting there at the end of the day because nobody else can take it. So I think that's it. I think that's everything for my bigs. Of course, we have lots of small stuff along the way, but this stuff, again, $240, that's all I got invested into it. And um, yeah, it's gonna be a great $1,000 return. $1,000 doll? $1, return, 750 profit, all local. No shipping, no packing, no fees, no return, no bad feedback, no hassle, just profit. So you guys, if you like this video, make sure and give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please put it in the comment section below. I'll make sure and answer all your questions. And um, please continue to um, 
like and follow. If you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button and I hope you guys all have a great day and love what you do. Thanks guys.